Hello everyone, um, I'm Furkan, I'm a PhD student in um, Dr. Magnin's lab and in this session I will talk about the uh, intracellular modeling using Librodrunner and this will be the first session of the two sequential sessions and this will be most the lecture. So what we have learned so far um, so f so far, actually, we know the physicel folder structure. We know the uh, physicel domain uh, with different DTs, diffusion DTs, mechanic DTs, and phenotype DTs. And we know the physicel studio, and this creates and enables to um, this enables to use the configuration file. And in the advanced session one and two, we have seen the C++ function and more. Uh, but the reason I'm kind of like more highlighting these ones, we will use these these ones. So in this um, session, what we will learn is uh, we will I will show the like basics of the kinetic modeling and um, how to integrate the kinetic models and how to control phenotype uh, phenotype based on the intracellular model how to use a uh, Librodrunner and how to save and uh, change the intracellular data uh, in this sequential one. For this one actually we will uh, look for the in physicel intracellular class, kinetic SPML, uh, what is it, and the integration itself. I think we will uh, kind of like need to focus more detail in that one and the Librodrunner add-on itself. So the the physical intracellular class is introduced in 1.9 uh, version of it uh, with the intracellular integrations it, nearly just two years ago and the major feature is it includes three different intracellular modeling approaches which are the Boolean network Physibos, um, kinetic modeling, which will be OD in, represented in ODs, which is using Librodrunner, and uh, and the second, uh, the third one is the flex balance analysis, which is in an alpha uh, version, which is called PhysiDFBA. Uh, uh, and this uh, new intracellular object has a, is using a same interface and same syntax for generic functions start update get parameter and set parameter and vice versa and also there are some spe uh, special functions to the packages like get boolean uh, variable value or validate SBMS species for the ODs for instance um, so these three sample projects um, actually the Physiboss is a Physiboss cell line sample project, OD sample project uh, for energy uh, for the Librodrunner, and the, for the PhysiDFBA, it's a cancer metabolism. Um, so when we compare and when we look for the solvers, Physiboss is using MABOS, uh, PhysiDFBA is using CoinCLP as an op uh, li dynamic linear programming optimizer, CoinCLP. And the Librodrunner uh, add-on is using Librodrunner. There is no surprise in here. Um, so in um, yeah, we will do the uh, OD energy sample, and we will we need to compile first because it will download the sol solver first, uh, and then you will do much more. So um, again, in the previous sessions. Um, Physibus has been used um, and uh, introduced by the Vincent, and it is developed by the uh, uh, Institute Curie and also Barcelona Supercomputing Center. And PhysiDFBA is in alpha, uh, but also it is in add-on, so you can find it. Um, so it is um, built by the most uh, primarily Miguel Ponce de Leon. Okay, um, so when we go for the Librodrunner, uh, so okay, what is it? So what is the the reason uh, why we are doing it? So we are integrating kinetic models to the each individual agents. 
so these uh, kinetic modeling can be like a uh, ex uh, molecular uh, concentration modeling like a metabolic modeling or can be signal transductions so imagine that like we have an oxygen deficiency in the cells and we have an intracellular uh, structure we, we are if you open the uh, the in the track intracellular agents uh, concentrations so physicel will track for you the intracellular concentrations or um, intracellular amino acid levels defines the cellular growth rate or cell cycle as an example so um, this actually opens a new uh, opportunity so we can actually control the phenotypic behaviors based on the metabolic level so we are actually kind of like adding another scale to the multi scale which will be the molecular scale and um, Lee Broadrunner is is an uh, is developed by Herbert Sauro and and Dissomoji and it has an C++ API um, so we are we uh, Randy actually thank you very much for that one Randy and I was kind of like worked um, closely to integrate LibroDrunner and um, it is integrated into into the uh, Physicel. Before we go to the integration, so I would like to actually introduce the SPML. Um, SPML is 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 for Systems Biology Markup Language. Um, so it has um, it stores the reactions in terms of stoichiometric matrix. And uh, so it is. It can has also the kinetic and pseudo steady state uh, representation, but most of the time, actually, the like the ordinary uh, the kinetic is the most um, often usage. Uh, but this is a, at the right hand side. You can see that like there is an one part of the SPML. It is hard to read for human. Um, so it is an XML and uh, it is parsed according to some rules. So 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 we will be using actually Copasi uh, to create the SPML and this is how it looks like in the SPML. So um, so in here you can see that this is the, how it looks like. So we we have a, mod, a model and we have a it, it's a kind of like. A, hierarchical uh, structure and there is a compartment and there is species uh, in this compartments they are volumetric entities that contains the uh, the chemicals the species are the chemicals or the um, the entities that are changed through the ordinary differential equations or it can be uh, like used for that assigned or other, any other assignments and the reactions are the stoichiometric relationships between the species which use usually is the rea chemical reactions and that can be also the uh, boundaries for the FBA but we will not be using uh, and for the global quantities those are the parameters and the constants so in here as you can see uh, so we have an intracellular compartment we have four different species energy glucose and oxygen in and between those four uh, species there are three different reactions aerobic anaerobic and energy usage reactions and these are the global quantities which are the uh, kinetic constant for the each different um, reactions and as you can see in here uh, aerobic reaction is just like glucose plus six oxygen creates 38 energy and um, anaerobic is just like creating two energy from glucose and there is lactate and energy is using is just like depleting the energy from the um, from the from the intracellular compartment so this is how it looks like if you just look f as a as a network um, so because this is an ordinary differential location, we can have this um, relationship. So uh, so it, these are the kind of like uh, how how it is how it looks like in MathML actually, and you can see that 
the constants are here and these are the concentrations. So when you simulate uh, with the uh, with the ordinary differential equation solver, it looks like this. So the energy is increasing. So in here, actually, I think this is like oxygen is a limit limiting reactant. So uh, so off. So the first peak you you are seeing is like the energy is created much more while the oxygen is represented, and after the oxygen is like is uh, consumed, then you can see that. Uh, kind of like the uh, the lactate actually kind of like getting uh, uh, getting created much much more and also the energy creation is less so you can see that actually be uh, these information with just with three different um, reactions chemical reactions okay um, so like we discussed actually the actually in the generally SBMLs have more than one compartment. So there is an extracellular, intracellular, mitochondria, maybe not nucleus. So um, and usually there are uh, there is a transfer reaction uh, between the two species in different uh, compartments. So usually, like if you go just look for the uh, SBML, you will see that glucose E which usually represent glucose extracellular and intracellular and there should there is a like transfer reaction between those compartments so this is so important because uh physicist also has its own transfer reac reaction simulator which is biofvm so therefore uh so there might there is a like there might be a di like contradiction if there is a two different transfer reactions uh, simulators so therefore if you are uh, so therefore this is a one thing that is important if you are using in uh, if you are using SBML in physicel uh, there should be only intracellular uh, compartments so there shouldn't be any extracellular compartments in the SPML because BioFEM is doing the transfer reactions. So um, therefore, not all SPMLs are supported in in Physicel. Um, so there, there shouldn't be any no, no uh, there shouldn't be any external compartments, and uh, mapping needs to be uh, added. To the between the SBML and Physicel, which I will talk about it, and uh, so you in it as a default session uh, is a default option. Uh, the SBML updates are SBML updates are made in point zero one, which is the diffusion time step, but uh, it will be it it can be changed uh, based on the the t complexity of the SBML. Okay, when we when we come for the integration, um, so this is important actually. This is one of the most important um, one of the most important slide in this uh, lecture. So okay, so we have a microenvironment, and as you know, physicel can in uh, stores the internal metabolites as an amount. So the biofvm actually simulates the uptake and secretions based on the uh, microenvironment uh, and uptake and secretion rates the internal metabolites are calculated based on biofvm and so then we are dividing these internal amounts to the concentration and these concentration are, are, are stored in uh, cell custom cellular data and these are these concentration are updated in the SBML, which are we are looking for 3D and also the kinetic parameters. The SBML Libroad runner will simulate it, will be simulated, and then it will be get it will update the again the internal metabolite concentrations and phenotypic parameters and kino kinetic parameters. And then agent-based modeling will do the phenotypic parameters 
um, and also it has a capability to change to the um, the kinetic parameters so each cell has its own cellular data and this is the in interface between the Librodrunner and the Physicel and but the everything is starts with the internal metabolites uh, calculation based on the microenvironment so based on the uptake and secretion rates so these amounts are converted into the concentration in the cellular data uh, custom cellular data and this is where we are storing our intracellular data and then these intracellular data are getting up up is is used to update the Librodrunner in SBML model and SBML model will be evaluated and then it will update the cellular uh, data so yeah this is the um, the overall integration so like I said uh, so usually intracellular data is working in uh, like in as a default point zero one but we can change this intracellular data so how it looks like how it looks like imagine that like we have a pool and in every minute let imagine that like we are every minute we are updating like we are adding something and we are consuming something the con and imagine that like this pool is the intracellular part and the uptaking is like adding the concentration to the pool and the imagine that like intracellular model is consuming against with some rate so in every one minute so it is updating but if we kind of like make the uh, change in of intracellular data a DT um, so imagine that like in we are doing the every five minutes um, so we are five minutes uh, for the for the updating these intracellular so imagine that like we are adding one five min minutes of the uh, water or oxygen into the tank and then we will dump five mi minutes of uh, this simulation so it will it will actually work it will uh, converge but uh, so be based on the, the SPML complexity um, this convergence may may shift so user needs to uh, be aware of this this effect but it, if they are using in the uh, the default default options it is just aligning with the diffusion uh, DT and uh, yeah so if you look for the configuration fire so right now actually we don't have uh, any uh, user interface for the SPML Librodrunner in the um, in the studio so therefore uh, this will be more advanced and more coding and we will be looking for the uh, configuration file so in the configuration file actually this is the kind of like a studio is parses and creates for you um, so you can see that like this is the phenotype, this is the motility, and and so, and there is another tab. You can see that this is the intracellular in the type of Roadrunner, and it's we are specifying the SPML file name, and uh and the mapping which I will uh, talk about later. So this is how it looks like. So the mapping, okay. Um, so actually you can um you can actually control the so in here for instance like you can map the oxygen to the oxygen so because like we have a physical substrate an SBML species if you just look look for it so the oxygen needs to be aligning with the oxygen oxy in the SBML but the most important thing we would like to control the phenotype in SBML so um, so therefore if there is a species in SBML called let's say death rate that is kind of like internally uh, calculated and defined based on the some something so we can actually change the death rate according to ac with, with this mapping actually so we created this token table and this is a uh, is important if you would if you need to use um, 
the phenotypic parameters if you would if you want to change the phenotypic parameters using SBML so uh, the phase transition rates are starts with a, a CTR so if you are looking for example so the the phase transition or cycle transition rate between uh, the first and the second uh, phases or like the zero and first of course this is how you assign and if you need if you want to change the death rate so we have a DA for the D uh, apoptosis rate and a necrosis rate so persistent time for the motility and migration speed so you can actually reach those ones one by one easily so in future this will, will might be changed with the advancement of the uh, the signals and behaviors but right now this is how it is done and you can you can understand if you look more if you if you do more okay um, so let's go and I will show some um, unit tests and how it looks like actually in in here so as an example we we will have a four species that the the uh, the network uh, the, the species what I mean again the chemicals uh, there will be an uh, oxygen and uh, glucose and lactate in the uh, micro environment but in the beginning there is no lactate and the glucose and oxygen is, will be getting consumed in the cells and the energy will be created and it, this is how it looks like uh, but when we go to the uh, the fizzy cell this is a very simple SPML, uh, simple SPML toy model. So, if we just look for the uh, the simulations in energy S S SPML is the is in COPACI and energy physical, the unit tests are uh, correct. So, uh, it it works. So, if we add the uptake and glucose, so it is creating the energy internally. So, if you look for the energy terms be between the COPACI and cell again it matches so okay so therefore so I can say that like um, the S, uh, the solving SBML um, just directly works in in physical so these are the kind of like word the unit test but the one thing is very very important for to communicate between the agent based modeling and the uh, intracellular metabolic modeling is the SPML events so imagine that so you are creating the um, energy like this and imagine that like if you have um, if you have more than 50 in terms of the energy or sorry in terms of sorry in, this was another uh, example but if you imagine that like this is the time if imagine that if you have um, a h higher if you have more than four energy then you are allowed to divide so this is called SPML events and I will show tomorrow or today or in the second session of this advanced sessions um, what I will show you is there will be an event which triggers or changes a specific value so in here we are changing our cycle rate if there if the energy is uh, less than or small greater than 0 uh, 50 so when you, once you are here actually it starts with less energy but consuming with oxygen and glucose it creates energy and after the energy get level is getting higher then it triggers the event and it changes the cycle rate and this cycle rate is a species in SPML which will be used and as a transition rate so this is how we actually kind of like combine the metabolic level and the agent based model so let's see the example in here phenotypic change so in here so what we will do see actually we will look one by one the lactate secretion is is increasing by the lactate concentration 
so this is the reverse case actually oxygen level if the oxygen level is less than some threshold the migration speed is increasing and if the energy level is smaller than uh, some threshold then the cells will go apoptosis so let's go and see the first one so in here actually you will see that okay there is no lactate in here so we are increasing the lactate secretion rate based on the lactate concentration intracellularly so therefore it is increasing the lactate and you can see that like it is going but if we go to the GIF for the how cells are like behaving so in the beginning there is not much uh, sorry in the beginning there is like abundance of um, oxygen and they are consuming and after the oxygen level is smaller than some value they are trying to escape but the, their energy is getting consumed and consumed and after their ox energy level is less than the threshold and then they go for the apoptosis so they they try to escape and then um, then they are dying after they consume their energy so okay so this is the kind of like a pl plot average intracellular oxygen across the area so as you can see it is getting consumed by the cells and in here average intracellular of course uh, a a energy level so as you can see it is increasing at the first and then it is decreasing and and then they die after um, so this is the kind of like a energy um, level between in the, in the middle of the simulation okay um, so let's go to the Librodrunner add-on itself so this is some of them has a uh, same with the same format with Fizzy FBA and Fizzy Boss, which will be start and um, update and and also the get parameters so the start will be actually so the reason I am kind of like showing this because this is more like in the second session we will be more in the coding zone so the start is starting the uh, intracellular model in cell and initialize is initializing but it is kind of like underneath the start so and then you can actually get the parameter values and set the parameters values in SPML update is the S simulating SPML and get state is the like learning the name and there there are some validation uh, functions to validate the given tokens so yeah this was uh, a kind of like a give uh, in, uh, a overall uh, overall design so this one actually what I would like to show is another example so so in here if you look for the motility the in the beginning there is no um, there is no actually speed this is the like the beginning of the of the um, simulation if you just look for the configuration file but if you just look for here you will see that we are assigning the migration speed which is increased by the oxygen level um, in intracellular oxygen level and if you are looking for we are using MMS which is migration meta motility migration speed so in the beginning um, so the cell is very very small like like the, it has it doesn't have any actually like speed so but if while the, the oxygen is getting used and used so the migration speed is increasing in here and this is kind of like a linearistic uh, model so this was kind of like a, a one thing that is just controlled uh, intracellular uh, sort of phenotypic part according to the intracellular and the second one actually again this is a kind of like one kind of like very similar example in the beginning as you can see there is no secretion rate uh, and there is uh, after in in here there is a secretion rate lactate and in the beginning there is no lactate so the cell in here is just secreting the lactate and uh, while I'm getting uh, actually kind of like end of this uh, lecture 
so if while you are specifying the tokens so actually physicel is looking for the uh, phenotype tokens or giving wrong tokens in the salt SPML species so if in here for instance there is no uh, token that is giving as like MTR or it can just look for the any wrong token so yeah um, this was the end of the um, the advanced level in the tomorrow or in the next session we will actually uh, do a live demo together uh, to control uh, and to do uh, the to integrate the SPML into the physical model um, yeah thank you very much for watching um, I hope to see you in the next session thank you